Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, CCIE by 30. I'm De'Ara Footman, network engineer and content creator. If you're new here, I make videos all about what I'm learning, study tips, cool things I'm working on at work, and just my general journey as a network engineer and woman in tech. If all of that interests you, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about DriveNet's Network Disaggregation Fundamental Certification. If you remember early August on the blog, I did a blog post detailing who DriveNet's is, what is network disaggregation, and an overview of the course and my general feedback. Uh, if you missed that blog post, it will be linked in the description below. I highly suggest you check it out and also subscribe to my blog so you don't miss a post. All right, so first of all, you might be wondering who is DriveNets. If you haven't heard about them, I will have their website linked in the description below. And I also suggest you check out some of their network field day presentations. They are doing a lot of really cool stuff with their approach to networking. Um, their mission and motto is to build networks like the cloud. And you may be wondering what exactly does that mean? Well, what they're doing is they're applying those same virtualization techniques that we saw take over the server world and you know move into the cloud to networks, allowing ISPs and service providers to scale up or scale down resources in a real time fashion. This is definitely again a game changer as it you know improves scalability. It opens up the field for vendor choice. You know, traditionally vendors or service providers are locked into a couple of different vendors, which I won't name in this video, but if you've been in networking, you, you know who the, the big players are. Um, and this, what DriveNets is doing, you know, opens up the playing field. You're not locked into one specific vendor. You're able to scale as needed. Uh, operations are simplified because you're uh, you're you know you're doing everything from one central point. And you're not having to touch so many different you know devices. You're able to kind of reduce the complex complexity in your network because if you're a service provider, you again as I mentioned before, you're going to have uh, different gear on the side of the house that supports your business and commercial customers than you would on your residential side. So that can lead to uh, complexity that DriveNets has been able to resolve. All right, so the course is free. It has a total of 10 modules. Again, they go over the introduction of what is a disaggregated network, an overview of how DriveNets approach these things and then comparisons to the traditional networking models. Then they dive into use cases, the hardware, uh, various services that they offer. They deep dive into how data flows between the control plane um, and then hyper availability and then just general operations and management of the solution. And then you, you know, you watch a summary and you go off and take the exam. Um, I felt very knowledgeable after going through the course. It was definitely something I didn't have any exposure to. I have not worked in an ISP or service provider, but I have worked in data centers. And what DriveNets has done is package really great, useful information in this course about the service provider industry and the challenges they face. They've covered challenges in terms of performance and scalability with the traditional network models that we've seen, as well as their approach, which is just game changing to network design. This course specifically focuses on high scale network disaggregation technologies and the challenges and use cases that it applies to. Finally, as network engineers, we're constantly looking to learn and expand our skill set to stay marketable and ahead of industry change. And DriveNet certification program has adapted to this with different levels to help you expand your knowledge and cred credentials in this area. 
And yeah, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.